Clippers owner Steve Ballmer recently spoke to the LA Times about his plans at an extreme makeover for the organization. We all know about his plans for a new arena in Inglewood, but Ballmer also discussed the possibility of changing both the team's name and subsequently their logo. Ramona, do the Clippers really need a complete rebrand? Yeah, I mean, you're talking to the girl who has a 30 for 30 coming out pretty soon on the Clippers and their whole history with Donald Sterling. Um, and Where I, can people find that potentially? Uh, in a couple down weeks. In a couple weeks. What, what platform? Oh, on the ESPN platform on 30 for 30. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. I'll, you'll, you'll, you, trust me, you'll be able to find it. Okay, okay. okay. Um, but, like, when you, when you see the Clippers and their history, like, the more you dig into it, the more people just want to, like, cover their eyes and pretend that all that never happened. Right. And I think that when Steve Ballmer bought the team, he said very strongly, like, we're not going to change the name, but, like, you just bring up, it's like Voldemort. Like, you don't want to talk about Donald Sterling's name. Like, people don't even want to utter this history. And this, we talked about the Clipper curse for many years, and, and you know, it's, there's still some vestiges that link the team to Donald Sterling in that whole era. Right. The name, okay? The name, the branding, the logo. That's why Steve Ballmer has to go down and build his own arena because I don't know if people know the history of Staples Center, but Staples Center was initially conceived of by the Kings. Yeah. It was supposed to be the LA Clippers as the second tenant because the Lakers were very happily playing down in Inglewood. They owned that building. Donald Sterling kind of messed around with Anaheim. They had yeah. the deal. They had a press conference scheduled and then decided, you know what? I don't want to be in Anaheim because all my friends are in Beverly Hills. <laughs> So, <laughs> in the time that he was like messing around, yeah. the Lakers slid into Staples Center and yeah. the Clippers try to come in there as the third tenant. They still get third choice on dates. They got the smallest locker room. Right. Like, this is why this is why Steve Ballmer needs to build his own stadium. This is why Steve Ballmer feels so strongly about that. Just go all the way. Just change the name. Just make it, call him whatever you want to call it. But the, there's still vestiges that connect back to an era that really no one associated with the team should be connected with anymore. Dave? Okay, I, get rid of the logo, please. I can't stand it. <laughs> it's really, it's, it's amateur hour, and yeah. the jerseys would obviously, if you change the logo, you get the jerseys need a lot of yeah. work too. But if you change the name, I feel like it would lessen the whole redemption story if they pull this off. If right. Paul George and Kawhi Leonard deliver the first championship in yeah. franchise history, I want the Clippers to win. Hey, I'm a Mad Men fan, so yeah. like okay. Don Draper's character, he was born as Dick Whitman. Anyone out there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. we reference? all like Mad Men. So he just changes his identity to Don Draper. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. You, you have to be Dick Whitman and come through and, and change your life and have a redemption story. You don't just change your name. It's like a stage name, though. You can change your, to your stage name oh, if you want. Oh, is George not your real name? No, no it is. <laughs> okay. uh, but I know pe plenty of people in this business hey. who have a stage <laughs> name. I, I mean, there's like weather guys who have weather stuff in their names. <laughs> That's okay? true. So there's yeah, that part. Rain. Yeah. He's the man, though. I ain't trying to mock him. You know what I'm saying? But it's smart, smart Good business. Name. But I'm with Ramona. Get the stench off. You know what I'm saying? Like, you were the joke of not just the NBA, but the joke of professional sports for a long time. And that'll be illustrated in Ramona's upcoming 30 for 30. Um, so I, I think that because of that, you, you just kind of wipe it off. Now, if this happened, it wouldn't happen this season anyway. So you could still do what you said, Dave. They could win a championship this year you know, end the Clipper curse, and then start fresh, like, go. here we go, new chapter with the championship, potentially. I, I could get behind that. Okay. Yeah. There it is. Well, Momo, you in? Though. Well, it, look, if they win with this, I, I think you're right. Like, yeah. if they win with the, the Clipper name, they're going to have to keep it. So, like, Oh, you don't a, think you can just change it after that? I don't think that? you can do it after that. I think not. I think that's a boss move if you do it that way. <laughs> not that this is Jalen and Jacoby, but I just <laughs> think that's a, that's a boss move. Like, we're done with that chapter. On yeah, to the next thing. This is like thing. a moment. And, like, Steve Ballmer kind of has this feeling of, I want to have the best arena in the NBA, the, yeah. an arena that changes the way arenas are built. Right. I mean, he dreams big. The guy's got it, and yeah. he's got enough money to do it. Right. The renderings are pretty awesome. Uh, There's great. no doubt about that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN Plus.